welcome back to just rp 3.0 it's our second uh today second episode of this academy today i believe we're going to be doing two more modules and there's gonna be one episode after this doing the last two modules in the last video we did the intro uh to kind of everything and then we also did a breaching module uh and today i'm not sure exactly which ones we're gonna do but we will find out shortly uh there'll be time in the description as well if you guys want to skip to the different modules i believe i'm gonna try and keep the two per video try and keep the videos as cut up as i can and uh yeah hopefully you guys are enjoying this getting like you know all set up and getting through academy it should be some fun rp and uh yeah i guess i'll cut to when we are starting our first module of the day again we're gonna do probably two per video i think we have four left total so we'll do two today and then in the next video we're gonna do the last two and then uh i guess we're gonna go from there and see what we can do so far it's been fun uh definitely learning a lot definitely not exactly the best in everything hopefully you guys find if the voice changer so far and uh, yeah, I guess I'll cut whenever we're getting to our next module and starting our... Yeah, I guess starting it up. So I'll see you guys very soon. All right, All right you guys will be here at traffic stops with Asante and Whismer. Alrighty, yes. seems we're doing traffic stops. This will be good. So I'm, I'm Whismer. This is Asante. Hello. Nice to meet y'all. Now uh, we're going to be your instructors for the traffic stop portion of the uh, academy. Uh, probably the most boring part of the academy you're going to be doing today. <laughs> um, so we're going to go over uh, nice the radio calls for traffic stop and uh, what to do during it. And then uh, once you guys are comfortable with uh, what you're going to be doing, uh, Asante and I are going to be hopping in the suspect vehicle. You guys are going to attempt to pull us over and walk through it. Uh, you'll rotate. So uh, each one of you gets a turn. And uh, we'll just go over it. If anybody has any issues, any problems, uh, we can let them do it again. Uh, go over what you, you know, what's, what you don't feel comfortable with. And uh, we'll proceed from there. Sounds good. Awesome. Sounds good, sir. Hi, hi, Captain. Alrighty. So, uh, when performing a traffic stop, uh, you know, you catch somebody speeding or you know, blowing through a red light. Or maybe you saw them crash into a car and continue that kind of thing. Uh, you're just going to flip your lights and sirens on. Uh, but for today, we're just going to be using lights. Uh, just so that we're not disturbing any of the other modules. Uh, so you're going to flip your lights on. Uh, proceed to follow them until they uh, t until they pull over for you. Or, you know, sometimes they don't pull over. In which case, you're going to be uh, starting a 1080. But uh, we'll go over that later. Uh, once you have them pulled over... Uh, you're going to pull your vehicle, just like Asante has his cruiser parked here, at an angle, so that you're blocking off traffic and you have cover when you're walking up to the vehicle. Because nobody wants to get fucking plowed into by a trucker in Legion Square uh, when you're trying to pull a car over for going five over speed limit. Fuck the truckers. Yeah, truckers on top. <laughs> I mean, granted, the truck is just going to blow through your cruiser, but at least you'll have some kind of a buffer. <laughs> mm -hmm. At least it'll be your cruiser that hits you. Yeah, exactly. So you always want to pull your cruiser at an angle like that, uh, behind the suspect, just so that you, like I said, you have the cover, and you're diverting the local traffic around you, so that they're not trying to crash into your cruiser and, you know, fuck up your whole day. Uh, once you once you have them pulled over, uh, you're gonna call out on the radio. You're gonna say your badge number is attempting a 1038, and then you're gonna give the uh, car description. Now, if you know what the model is, obviously you can include that. Uh, in this case, it's a gray Primo. Or if you don't know what the model is, you can always say like a gray sedan or a gray SUV, uh, that kind of thing, just so that people know uh, you know what you're dealing with. Um, whoever would, is gonna be driving, uh, I'll show you how to set All right, go ahead and your... get started when you're ready. You got 30 minutes. 10-4. Uh, whoever's going to be driving, uh, show you how to set up your radar and the uh, more specifically the plate reader. Right. Sounds sweet. Because so you do want to include the license plate in your radio call. And then uh, your location and which direction you're facing. And then you want the number of occupants. And then if it's one or two people, uh, you say no additionals required. Uh, generally, if there's three or four passengers, you do want to ask for one uh, unit as backup, just so you're not one or two people dealing with four people. As you know, you never know what might happen. Yeah, so, and asking for additions is a part where you'll have to consider before 
you know reading it out before because mm -hmm. if you feel like that some like a person is very hesitant when it comes to pulling over when somebody's revving their engine something like that you know like they're fucking yelling at you or something this is like an indicator that this person might not really pull over for you so asking for additional in case that person decides to you know changing it okay. to a chase you would have yeah yep. you would have somebody ready for that yeah so if you or let's say you know who it is that you're pulling over and you know they're a flight risk uh it's always a good idea to ask for backup as well uh just so that you know when you step out of your car you're not left with your dick in your hands uh trying to chase him kind of thing you know so uh yeah so the radio call is going to be your badge number uh attempting a 1038 on a gray primo license plate and whoever's in the driver's seat will be able to read out the license plate uh going in this case it would be eastbound Tiansky passage number of occupants going to be two no additionals required any questions about the radio calls all right so uh basically uh, what we're gonna do is uh, if you guys feel comfortable with the radio calls and uh how you position you see how you position your car there that you position at an angle uh santa and i are gonna get in the primo you guys are gonna taste us down just put your lights on get us to pull over uh once you do have us pulled over uh what you're gonna do is you're gonna ask us to turn the engine on and then you're gonna walk up to the car. All right, let's go cool. over here. It's coming back to me a little bit from so the mafia Sante, training. Sante coming wants back to get a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> I'll run through it. Definitely coming back to me a little bit from uh, the mafia days of being trying to become a cop. Right, so, so you've, uh, uh, you've pulled them over. You've got an car idea for cover. It. Uh, you just gotta come up and you're gonna introduce yourself. So uh, in my case, it's uh, how you doing there, sir? I'm off, uh, senior officer Whisper, the LSPD. How you doing today? Shit. Ah, well, you know, that's understandable, sir. All right, so, yeah. uh, what, what, what's your name there, sir? What, what, what do I have to tell you? <laughs> ah, well, sir, it's a uh, law to have you pulled over at a traffic stop, but, uh, you know, I'm going to need your name. What if I don't? Ah, well, then, sir, I'm going to have to ask you to step out of the car. Okay, it's Damien Asante. All ah, right, Mr. Asante. Uh, just give me a second here. I'm going to step on back to my cruiser. I'll be right back with you. Of course, of course. Okay, okay. All right. And now, ho obviously, hopefully, yeah, the suspect has given you the... Uh... <laughs> are you hot-wiring <laughs> the car, Sante? What? No. What? <laughs> no, what? I think you're right, in this, in this case, you just want to shoot him in the head and get it all <laughs> with. Uh, no, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, once once you've gotten a license, or at least hopefully the correct name, um, you always want to go back to your cruiser, uh, step inside of it for a second, and then if you uh, pull up your tablet, go Should ahead we do and do uh, that now. Do, yep, go ahead and do that, just so you can see what it looks like. Ooh, I've actually right, now never from up top, before. if you go to search persons, it's actually pretty clean. You can look up Asante. That's A S A N T E. And then his name should show up on the right. If you click on it, mm -hmm. it'll show you his profile. So, uh, actually, let's look up somebody who I know has convictions. Uh, look up Santiago Ruiz. That's R-U-I-Z. Oh, my. So, yeah, you can see the list of his uh, prior convictions there. Oh, now, uh, for, <laughs> <laughs> for speeding tickets, there will be a D in front of it. So, okay. as a driving... Okay, D uh, for driving. I believe. F, I'm guessing felony. Um, M, misdemeanor. So in that case, you can see he has a speeding uh, band ticket. Mm -hmm. So you can so you can tell that he's uh, been pulled over before for speeding. What does the band mean? Uh, those are just the different variety, uh, different severities of speeding. I got you. So uh, to find out what those are like once, once you uh, go to uh, the create report or you can look at the um the charge sheet on the uh, leo document that should probably and have that it'll up. show you uh which which speeding ticket is for which so i, I believe there's one for 10 over one for what what is it 15 20 over something like that and then another one for like way over 
that, that kind of thing. Um, so they're just uh, different speed limit, uh, different speeds over the speed limit, and you can see uh, which one those are and and, and that. Um, so if you see that they do have a uh, prior uh, speeding ticket or like running a red light, anything like that. Yep. Uh, you can issue them a citation. Um, but first, you want to look up the uh, vehicle license plate. So if you go to search vehicle, uh, let's look up Asante's Cruiser since the Primo will not come back to anything. So let me get that license plate for you. Pretty cool, like MDT thing. Definitely going to have to learn how to actually use this well. <laughs> Again, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying this co-op series so far. Uh, the first couple of videos of us going through the academy is obviously going to be a little slow. But once we get out of academy, we should be into uh, hopefully a lot of action. So hopefully you guys are excited for the co-op series. I'm definitely excited to have a little bit of variety instead of just doing crim all the time. It's nice to uh, all right, actually so try if, doing if a co-op. Uh, oh, here we go. K-N-S. And it should come up on the right side. And then it'll show you who it, who it belongs to, that kind of deal. So you always want to make sure that the, uh, the vehicle does belong to either the driver or somebody inside the car. Uh, if it doesn't, you know, they'll probably give you some kind of story. Um, I generally uh, like to uh, go along with people to give uh, good stories, that kind of thing. You know, yeah. sometimes we get uh, local cars. Which, uh, for reference, if you look up a license plate and it just comes back as searching for results, generally it's a local car, or in the case of the Primo, it's a car that's been, you know, pulled out of a garage for PD or EMS, that kind of thing. Um, so if it just comes up as uh, searching results, generally if somebody's driving it that's not uh, Leo or emergency services, it's going to be a local car. Anyway, yeah, let's continue with this. We don't have that much time left. All right, so is everybody comfortable with the radio call out? You sir? Yeah. Until no, I it. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, you know, you, we always have the, uh, the cheat seats that you can use, the yeah. tank uh, cheat seat. Um, any questions about what to do during the traffic stop? So whoever's going first, uh, <laughs> you know, all you guys hop in the cruiser, whoever's going first, make the radio call out and then uh, come up and do your traffic stop. Right, this, can we start from left again? So Beard goes first? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Right, she's then. so excited to do it. She should go first. I mean... I'll probably skip to when it's our turn. And uh, oh, yeah. yeah, should just be a second. Yeah, conducting a good old traffic oh, yeah. stop. Asante, I've not done one of these since Mafia about a year ago. So we'll see how it goes. All right, sir, engine off, please. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. Already seven, attempting a 1038 on a gray Primo. License plate 67GF0951, occupied times three uh, on westbound Chinsky Passage, occupied times three, no additional units needed. Hello, sir. Oh, shit, it's the voice. Hey, Hold on. I was going to let me go my window, Officer <laughs> Silverstone. Oh, Wait, no, he's me. got the emo haircut. Fuck down. Uh, can I please see your Something. license registration, please, sir? Uh, no, sir. I'm um, gonna need to see your license, sir. This is a lot of order. I'm Glacy, uh, the pas. Five minutes later. Sir, it's okay. We're here to protect you. Make sure the streets are safe. We're not here to shoot you. <laughs> Alrighty, sir. Thank you. Uh, now whose car is this? Uh... Where did you pick this car from, a I don't know. Pick it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, so uh, Asante just said like, yo, I have this new car that I want to take for the test spin, you know, from uh, PDM. Uh, so now it's a test drive vehicle. Yeah, yeah, sir. Where is your PDM uh, dealer? How the fuck should it's I me? know? I mean, the PDM dealer is a PDM. I'm the PDM dealer. What's up? Oh, he is? Wait, what? Okay. Are you, sir? Yeah. Are you sure about that? Then what's your name, sir? Yeah, of course, it's Damien. Damien? You work, you work at PDM? <laughs> Huh? You work in PDM? <laughs> what the, the fuck, fuck is this? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm go check your license. You boys stay safe. Um, yeah, you know, just take care. Please do not leave right now. I need to go check your license. Yeah. Sure, just sure. Uh, stay safe. If I could, I would. Alright, check your license. All that shit. Let's go. You're so fucking 
Oh, my eyes are fucked. Like I have two seconds of Alrighty, right sir. There. Um, I'm gonna let you go. Cause, uh, yeah, we just got shots fired. I gotta go. Just like that? What the fuck is this police force coming I want, from? I want a time for her, mate. I don't know, uh, man. I'm, I'm, I don't know yeah, no, you, no, yeah, you, I don't know how much you, time you, you, so you're good. You do well, so yeah, yeah, yeah go ahead and let her go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured I wouldn't want to spend the next five minutes, you know, trying to figure oh, it out. Yeah, you're good. Oh, uh, you right. did good. Thank you, sir. That was awesome. <laughs> Quick. Oh, you gotta go fast. fast. <laughs> Speed run this shit. I'm trying to do somewhat of a southern accent, but it keeps going back to my Zen's accent. Vehicle. So I'm trying Stay to fix that, vehicle. but uh, we'll see. I think we're gonna Get go with a little bit of a southern accent on Johnny, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess let me know what you guys think. We're gonna go for like a slight southern accent, though, I think. With the voice changer, and then I think it's, you know, enough away from my my regular voice that people won't recognize it. So, uh, we're gonna pe keep talking like a little bit southern and uh, see how it goes, I guess. Might be bad, might be good, you know, never know. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. I keep switching back to the Zez accent by accident. Yeah, right. But, uh, I think this module is pretty much over, so I'm just gonna cut to the next module to save on some time. Uh, Excuse I'm me, starting to remember a lot of the stuff from Mafia, so it's coming back but uh yeah it's gonna be about it i think whoa, for the whoa, traffic whoa. stop module <laughs> i will uh see you guys when we're starting our next module at the bcso academy Alrighty, so apparently we're about to do module or code five module which is i believe felony traffic stop so uh we'll see how this does it's good that we get the regular traffic stop and the felony traffic stop all done today so that's definitely nice to have it uh one after the other oh my what is going on over here but uh, i guess we'll see how this goes I guess we will. All right. So when it comes to a code five traffic stop, you first want to go ahead and radio in. I uh, say the call sign. Going to be conducting a code five on vehicle description. Occupied however many times you think it's occupied. If it's tinted windows, you say unknown. So there's going to be four positions you have. You can have primary, secondary, tertiary, and parallel. And primary is essentially going to be giving all the instructions. They're basically never to leave their cruiser. They're going to stand right behind it and issue all orders. Secondary is going to be cuffing the suspect. Tertiary as well. And secondary and tertiary can also chase if it turns into a foot pursuit. All right, so everyone go ahead and pick a cruiser. If you want to be primary, go pick this one. Yeah, I'll demonstrate for now, so I'll, I'll be in primary. Oh, thank God. Get passenger. Thank God. Is everyone on radio? Please. Yes. Copy. All right, you go ahead and say, for me, it'd be 344, going to be conducting a code 5 on a black and colored baller, uh, four door occupied one time, I believe. And then you go ahead and hop out the vehicle with your gun drawn. Make sure the door is open. If it's not open, just go ahead and get back in the car, but walk away a bit. So I'd be issuing instructions to the driver. Driver! Turn the vehicle off and throw the keys out the window. All right. Go ahead and put your hands up and with your left hand, reach out the side, open the door and hop out. All right, look through your eyes and take five steps back. Stop right there. Go ahead and make five steps right. Secondary, go for cuffs. Oh, <laughs> for cuffs. Uh, this is... Alright, oh. Pass is there a passenger in there? Hello? Passenger, I want you to go ahead and put your hands up and hop out the car. <clears throat> yeah. Alright, look through your eyes. Take five steps back. Also, uh, just so you know, as soon as you get the first suspect in cuffs, you're gonna want to escort him and take oh, him okay. behind the car. It's just a bit difficult. My eyes are a bit fucked. Yeah, right yeah. Now. and you're gonna want to stay with him as long as you can. Uh, go ahead and turn around for me. Sorry. All right. Take five steps to your left. All right. One more step to your left. Take three steps back. A bit more to your left. Oh boy, this is gonna be rough. Oh my. Okay. A bit more back and then secondary or tertiary, sorry, go for cuts. Are you supposed to be behind the cars? Okay, go ahead and escort him right into the back of the cruiser. Uh, fourth, can you hear me? Uh, 
Ten four. All right, so I'm gonna need you to go with me. We're gonna be clearing the trunk now. Go ahead and stand. Uh, I'm gonna be standing in the front. Go ahead and stand near the trunk. I'm gonna be being clockwise. Is that a local? At this point, I'm gonna hop I'm in the coffee, car. I'm mm -hmm. there's no one's in there, but there could be someone in the trunk. Okay. So I'm gonna get in the car, pop the trunk, and just no one there. Trunk is clear. Oh, All you right. use your um. Hey, you're good. You're good. Let me go ahead and back. Call it code four. Alrighty, that was interesting. Alrighty, 487 attempting a code 5 on a black and colored Gale Venter Baller. License plate 02R A0862. Eastbound, Chinsky Passage. Occupied times 2, requesting additional units. <laughs> Either here. 505 responding to that code 5. Alrighty. So am I supposed to say something to have traffic. everyone get out of the car at the same time or? Yeah, so you count down. Alright, we're getting out in 3, 2, 1, out. Sirs in the car, please put your hands out the window. Slowly. Driver from the outside, I want you to slowly grab onto the outside door handle. Open it and get out of the car as slow as you can, sir. Your hands up. Hands up, sir. Alrighty, sir. Now, what I'm gonna want you to do is look for your eyes and back up five steps slowly. Slow, back up, sir. So do we chase him? Do what you think is right. All right, sir. I'm gonna have to ask you to get out. I didn't do nothing, man. I'm hands, up, sir, sir, sir. We'll figure this out later. Please put your hands up right now. Thank you, sir. Now, please step out of the vehicle. Please do not move from your location. I'm gonna have you look for your eyes. Start stepping back slowly, 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 slow. Hey, 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 hey. sir, 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 sir. Slowly, sir, sir. Got a runner. I'm going up the stairs to the right. I'm going to flank round. Man, I could have fell in. <laughs> He's going to pull out of here. Ah, right, well, there's nowhere he can go. Stay at the ladder. Sir, you got nowhere to go, sir. Gonna have to ask you to come down. Never, you'll never take me alive, man. Sir, you only have one option here, sir. Listen, we can work through this out, sir. <laughs> Listen, I want to go home, and I know you do too. So let's get through this together, and we'll be okay. All right, sir. I don't want to do you no harm. Okay, sir, that's a little disrespectful. Sir, now listen to me. We can do this the easy way or the hard way, all right? I want to get you down here. I want to get you down Not here safe. Comes. I want to get you some uh, some nice food, some nice water. Show. You know, we can get this all figured out, sir. I don't know. No, no, do not go show up there. Do not go up there. Do not go up there. He's armed now. Sir? Vehicle. We have a lethal pole. Do not have any tasers anymore? Sir, I'm going to yeah, have weapon. to ask you one more time, sir. We do not want to have to hurt you. Please come down with your hands up. Fine, I'm coming down, man. I'm coming down. Slowly, 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 please. There you go, sir. I'm gonna need you to come back to the ladder. Yeah, I got it. Sir, now put your hands up. I want slowly. I will tase you if you do run, sir. I'm going for cuffs. I have lethal. <laughs> so it's back in custody. Sir, I was just trying to help you down. You feel me, sir? trying to all get out of this all right and i appreciate your uh you coming down but i do not appreciate the gun jj i'll let you down now <laughs> officer <laughs> so how do i uncuff you go to the cuff actions and oh, got, you, got you that was not what i was expecting i'm not sure if i handled that right but uh yeah i was not expecting him to start freaking running i come over here <laughs> not sure if we did too well there, but we'll see. I was not expecting that one. So, whenever he started running, that was actually not that bad. Um, just besides, you know, questioning if you should or not. Uh, what you did was perfectly fine. Uh, tertiary and parallel are supposed to be chasing out the runner. Um, 
secondary and primary stay on the vehicle which you did nicely um after that everything everything's fair game you tase his ass you fucking put him on the ground if not if the if the windows are not down do not tase him have y'all cleared have y'all cleared the vehicle yet like actually no. like searched it well, we were actually come down so i'm not sure if we were like uh going on to the next and all i mean i know Can the vehicle has been cleared but i think we'll finish you got both of us you got both of us in custody so all right, someone pop the truck. I'm going into the seat. We have someone watching this trunk. We need someone watching this trunk. You got it? Yeah, I'm yeah. going in the vehicle. I'm gonna be popping the trunk. Popping the trunk in three, two, one, pop. Clear. I'm gonna look through this vehicle real quick. Check the glove box. Damn, there's 20,000 pounds of meth in here. Oh my god, 20,000. We got a big bus, boys. <laughs> I'm getting big promoted, bus. Corporal. There's a pistol and some ammo on the Hell truck. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, Ashley. <laughs> Is there actually one? Because <laughs> not my fears. Is there Ashley? Yeah, just yeah. stuff in the trunk. Yeah, oh, put fuck? that in the trunk before we started. Oh, okay. Alrighty. We. I don't think our, it was horrible there. It was a little. I know. Again, we we are not. I'm not really in the cop uh, mindset yet, so I got to get into it. But uh, overall, it didn't seem horrible. Um, I'm guessing that's gonna be the majority of it for this module. So uh, I think it's gonna be about it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy uh, and you do want to see the next two modules which are going to be the next episode make sure to subscribe and of course leave a like and i will see you guys in the next video